Hello people, it's Sithon here, and welcome to a magic video. I haven't done many of these in a while, but since it's the night before the Barcelona Grand Prix, I decided to do something nice. Something I always wanted to do. Yes, I'm going to open a Mirrodin Besieged display. 36 boosts of pure magic goodness. And I'm going to share it with you. It's the night before the Barcelona Grand Prix. I might have said that, I don't remember. And uh, I bought this a short while ago. And the cards are in English, despite it being... Uh, this is a bit of a... It's the screwdriver kind of thingy for my uh, glasses. I'm going to use it to open up the display. As you see, it's um, sealed. I'm not going to do this high tech. I uh, I haven't got my tripod uh, for my camera because uh, it would take too much, you know, time. To, I might have to pull back a bit now that I've <coughs> removed the plastic. I'm kind of, you know, committed. And I want to put it up like this. So, well. You're not seeing, but I wanted to put it up like this, just to get the feeling. And I'm going to start cracking boosters. I don't have a scissors, pair of scissors here, and uh, so I will simply have to do the pull open. And let's see here what I get: a Strandwalker mountain and. Red Sun Zenith. I'm going to have to do this at a bit of an accelerated pace because, hey, I don't have all night. And I'm lying on my bed in the hotel room. It's a big bed, but it's kind of uncomfortable. Although, of course, I'm not you know, bending like a Z in order to get it in front of the camera like I did with my fat pack opening video. That was a bit more annoying. And a <laughs> Phyrexian Crusader. You seem to be stalking me, my good friend. Um, I opened one at the Super f and and the first guy I played was uh, this really nice Frenchman with a uh, red-white deck. I still lost because he had the, uh, what's it called, the N Angel, I've forgotten what it's called, the one that destroys all tapped creatures. So that was kind of annoying. A mirror works. <laughs> I played uh, basically a black green infect as the uh, basic as you can get <sighs> Barcelona's been nice to me I uh, had a weird encounter just before I got back to the hotel today um, Thrun the last troll I think that's actually worth a bit it's a, it's a mythic uh, as I said the weird encounter I had um, I was in the uh, uh, metro and uh, a bunch of black, um, um, African that is, uh, street sellers, street vendors, whatever they're called, uh, apparently had a fight with, I don't know, someone who looked suspiciously like an Accorda Paladin. No, not like an Accorda. <laughs> okay, that was a weird turn of phrase. Decimator Web. Uh, no, not, not like an Accorda Paladin. Uh, a skinhead. And... Uh, me and some other passages, we did the entire, you know, herd thing and, you know, huddled together. <laughs> Top of the escalator. It was fun. Oh, a foil mirror works. A Hellkite igniter. But hey, it's a foil rare. It's probably a shit rare, but <laughs> it's a rare and it's a foil. <sighs> I'm going to be pissed if I don't get at least, you know, sort of, what is it, Feast and Famine that's in this set? Yeah, that's... Green blue that's in uh, sparse, if I'm not wrong. Sangromancer, uh huh. Okay, I haven't heard of that once, so it's probably shit. I hope you can see this. I'm opening these quickly because hey, it's fun to open and I don't want to get this over 15 minute, minute time length. And it's a Victor's Herald. Okay, I don't know if that's good. It seems okay. It's you know in a limited it would be bitchin, but I don't know what's like in constructed. 
You know, people might be screaming at me right now. Draft! 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 So, I might actually do that with a few boosters, you know, show you uh, how I think in drafts. I am probably going to do some uh, Magic Online videos, uh, some Magic Online drafts, uh, because of the simple fact that uh, I want to show you some drafting and I want to have more Magic on my channel. You don't seem to like League of Legends of Fear. Sword of Feast and Famine! Yay! <laughs> As I said, I was going to get pissed if I didn't get at least one of these. I got one of those. That's nice. Uh, anyway, at the FNM, I didn't really get anything that awesome. Contested War Zone. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> I don't know if that's any good. I don't think it's good. Oh, damn it. It's gonna be fun holding all of these cards back home. Anyway, I like being in Barcelona. My sister lives here, and uh, she's studying here. Picrosis Crawler. I have no idea that that's good. <sighs> anyway, as I said, tomorrow is the Grand Prix, where I'm going to go 0-3 draw. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't really prepared for this Grand Prix, um, so I don't have a really good deck. I have a Phyrexian Vat Mother. Um, no one, well, yeah, I have one of those, but uh, not to play with. Um, I've got a blue green elves deck. It's basically elves without the Eldrazi monument and Nissa Reaving combo, and in with um, Preordain, Mana Leak, and Spell Pierce. It's probably gonna suck ass, <laughs> but I just draft the rest of the time, so hey, it's not that bad. I'm more of a legacy player, to be honest, um, so I'm gonna do the legacy tournament, unless, of course, I, <laughs> by some freaking miracle, manage to get back in, uh, get to day two. Distant Memories, it appears, a, yeah, it's Khan thinking of, I don't know if that's, is that Venza? Well, I know that's Ursa in the background. I read the books, so I know. You know, I hope that in... As I said in, in before, uh, in the last magic video, I'm a Miran. Mainly because, not only because, hey, Mirans are the good guys, I'm a good guy. At least I'd like to think so. I might be wrong, but who knows. Um, but also because, you know, I feel like magic needs a good, solid, single monolithic... Uh, antagonist that we can all rally against, you know, like Bolas or the Eldrazi, but uh, we don't need the Phyrexians back. <laughs> Another distant memories. <laughs> Fun. Uh, as I, we don't need the Phyrexians back. Um, so what I would like to see, I would like to see Mirrodin Pure with a non-Phyrexian Khan Planeswalker. If that happens, I'm going to squeal like a girl seeing Justin Bieber. And Mountain Hero of Oxid Ridge. Um, okay. I don't know if that's good. I've heard some about it, but probably it's uh, great. I don't know. That's called Arthur Red uses it. <laughs> I don't know. Ah. Uh. Anyway, I got, uh, oh, fun story, uh, I was at Kastrup, which is the uh, Copenhagen airport, uh, which I flew from, and uh, I was selected for a random bag check. The uh, security guy, girl, rather, Phyrexian Rebirth. Um, the security uh, woman, uh, guard, whatever you want to call him, I don't know if it's gendered or not gendered, was rather confounded by the fact that I had, you know, like, uh, <laughs> Two fan packs boxes, stuff with magic with uh, decks, magic decks, and she was wondering, what's this? And I had to tell her, well, it's a card game, and you, you can win money in it if you play in it. And I try not to. Magnetic mind that probably sucks balls. And I had explained to her, you know, like, oh, it's not poker. <laughs> that was fun. Although she was really nice and they didn't hassle me or anything, and it's just, you know, random bag check. Yeah, sure, the fat atheist nerd, well, geek rather, yeah, hassle him. 
Green Sun Zenith, nice. I, <laughs> perhaps I could include them in my deck tomorrow. That's the second one I have. I haven't been able to sell the one I drew in my fat pack. Uh, my elf deck is, as I said, pretty bad. It's, it doesn't have any expensive cards, so to speak. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Ink Moth Nexus, nice. That's a value card, at least. Oh, did you see that at least? I think I, I was just looking at it, holding it up in the air. Uh, yeah, there we have you. Sorry if I sorry if I am not showing it properly because I'm kind of excited. You know, it's this is actually the first time I'm ever opening an entire display by myself. I've opened fat packs. I've opened <laughs> boosters, of course. Mere sire, creeping. Corrosion. Destroy all artifacts. A lot of mortar pods. <laughs> yeah, my uh, black green deck was stuffed with stuff to do. Do I mean like, I had a bunch of stuff for mortar pod to use? I mean like, but I didn't get to use it. Dark steel plate. Almost done with stack number two, and my cards are falling over. <laughs> I might have to, you know, put me. Oh, whoa, damn it! Uh, and you know, a bit less tall piles, because the bed's kind of <laughs> tilting. The bed's hard as a bloody rock, though, so it's a bit annoying to sleep on. But hey, it works. Cryptoplasm? Uh, okay. Never heard of that. But then again, then again, there are many cards I haven't heard about that are completely awesome. Twelve minutes and fourteen seconds. Damn it, this is going to have to get cut down, or either. I'm going to have to do make a two-parter, but making a two-parter takes so damn much time. <sighs> but looks better amount of videos. Galvanov, what the hell? Yes, that's rare. I was wondering, did I flip past the rare? <sighs> I was out eating with my sister today. We had uh, patatas aioli, 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 and chistores, Ta the tapas, basically small. Hero Oxid Ridge, another. Well, that's, that's a fourth, probably, at least a fourth mythic. Pretty nice. And last stack of boosters. Uh. Phyrexian Revoker. I got a foil one uh, at the um, Super F and M. So, hey, it's a disabling card. So, hey, it's nice. I guess I don't know. Let me see what it actually does. I didn't know if I I, I didn't draw it. Draw it. As Phyrexian Revoke ends the battlefield, name a non-land card. Activate the abilities of sources with the chosen income. Do you? Well, that's good. That's good if uh, you have a, a posting a deck which uses, you know, a Activated ability to do its thing. Red Sun Zenith. Bom bom bom. 